Hi there, Joka here, and today I'm sharing my project with the Spellbinders May Large Die Kit. So here is the kit. There's uh, several pieces in it. There's this beautiful frame that you can stitch. And then there's a single flower and a leaf. And there's this um, border uh, of flowers and um, both... Uh, outline so basically you can create borders or you can also die cut these flowers into directly into panels so lots of options here I only have two cards um, I was in a bit of a time crunch so um, for now I only have two cards so I'm starting with these flowers I die cut a few of them um, I'm not showing how I stitched them in this video. I believe I show it in the um, small die kit video because I will be using these flowers there as well. Um, they are super, super simple to, um, to, to stitch. You know, you, there's always a pattern um, kind of embossed into the paper. Um, that you can follow but it's um if, if you ever had these stitch uh, stitching dies from spa binders it's the same uh, theory and in the meantime here i'm creating um a, a kind of like a <clears throat> panel for my uh one of my cards and for this i just use this um cute flower border on both sides of my panel and now I'm um, die cutting this panel as well um, I'm actually it's okay so I'm always creating or working on cards in parallel so uh, you will see me go back and forth I believe between the cards here so this is the panel uh, I don't know how much you can see it but um, the pattern is really on um, drawn or embossed onto the um, panel so here's what i did i mean um this is just a simple uh, back stitch here and then the other type is just going back and forth and back and forth between um, one hole and then the holes in the paddles it's really just there's a, a central um hole and then you go back and forth between that and i added some french knots as well <clears throat> I'm not sure, but I think I showed that in the other video. Okay, so I'm stamping the sentiment, which is perfectly um, sized for this um, inside die cut piece here. And I really, really love the font on it. I used a, like a purple kind of color. And now I'm trying to create my um, card base and you know i just assumed that the die was uh, a2 size so i created a, an a2 size card base and uh, this was actually called the color that i was going for originally and here's where i notice that the die cut is bigger so um this is where i had to improvise and then i decided to go uh, with these um, colors on these flowers it's a variegated uh, dmc embroidery floss that I got from a friend of mine some years ago and this is my favorite color combination here purples and uh, red pinkish colors um, so I'm just you know those fl uh, little flowers on the border I wasn't actually planning on uh, stitching anyway I kind of just wanted it to look like lace and I'm adding some um, foam sheet. I believe this is from uh, Crafters Companion. And um, just to create some dimension. And I'll add this directly on uh, onto this um, colorful panel. I stamped my um, sentiment. It's the same font as the, the larger one, just uh, smaller here. And just to create a bit more interest, I die cut some more of these flowers and I did not stitch those. I'm just adding those as a layer um, to these stitched flowers. And as you can maybe see from this angle, I kind of offset 
the um, top layer just so that you can see the petals better. And then I'm lining them up on the left side. And that's almost um, done. There's one more thing I'm going to do with this card, but otherwise I kept it really simple. Um, I think when you have stitching, uh, you spend most of the time on stitching and then the rest of the card comes together very, very fast. Um, I don't remember how long these flowers took me because I was, you know, I, I watched some TV show shows um, in the meantime, but they do take some time. They, they are very simple, but they do take some time and I'm very slow. So um, that's just um, for your information. And so I added some enamel dots into different coral kind of colors and then that that is done that card so here I finally measured my uh, die cut I don't quite remember how big it was but I think I had two cuts then uh, like a four and a half by 5.75 inch I think um, this is then larger than the die cut but I wanted some color to hang off the edge so I simply measured that die cut and then added some um, to that measurement. So it's slightly larger, as you can see here. And so this one here, this panel, I did not stitch. I'm just going to um, glue it down. This is, um, well, for a, like two reasons. I wanted uh, to, to be able to center this uh, die cut this inner piece with the sentiment properly and also I find that it gives a little bit of extra to that card um, from this angle you will not be able to see it but when you when you hold the card in real life then you can see that two layer of die cuts it just looks kind of I don't know it just looks nicer I think and as you could see, I, I just used some um, liquid adhesive. I did not add uh, foam tape or anything. Um, the, the stitching itself uh, gives some dimension to the uh, panel. And then I'm adding some white enamel dots to the, like the center piece to, you know, just for something extra. And then these are the two cards. They are very simple looking, I think, but. Um, yeah, they were a lot of fun to make. I hope you liked um, today's inspiration and I hope to uh, see you again next time. Bye bye.